Good morning! This is Kendra Sims O'Malley. I am here with a voiceover, and uh, I don't know if you watched my last video for Cascade. Um, I recorded that earlier this morning, and I was all over the place and kind of groggy, but now I've had some coffee, so uh, I'm probably going to be talking really fast. Um, You'd think that I would have solved my rambling problem, but it might be worse. <laughs> you're welcome. Anyway, hello, I'm Kendra. If you're new here, hi, new friend. I'm excited to meet you. And if you're not new here, I am equally excited that you're still here and didn't let me scare you away. Um, I do ramble, so if that's annoying, mute me. Cool, awesome. And if it's, you know, the morning where you're at and you're not here for, I don't know what my mood is right now, but it's a, it's, it's a mood. Um, you might want to mute me too. There's also timestamps down in the description, so you can skip head to whatever it is you care about or when I stop talking, if I stop talking, I'll put it in there too. Um, yep, I have no idea where I was going with that. Anyway, this build, um, was the first build that I made when I came back from my little breaky break. Um, that's probably an annoying way to say that. I don't care. Um, yeah, so I went to visit my sister and when I came back, I was like, oh, I'm gonna ease back into this. I was only gone for a week. It shouldn't have been like the thing, but it was it was kind of weird. Um, so it's like, I'm gonna make a little home. It'll be fine. It literally took me like two and a half hours, um, which is a lot longer than these builds normally take me. But I think it turned out really cute. I regret nothing, um, but it was definitely more time than I expected and this video is a lot longer than I expected. Um, but I think it was worth it, personally. You'll have to let me know. But I think it's really cute. I don't really know what style it is. I think it's kind of a weird hodgepodge. I started off wanting it to be like, like a squished maybe like a colonial townhome but not super tall I don't know I had a vision it didn't end up like that but I do like how it ended up so I'm not mad um, it's definitely different though and uh, I love brick I wish I did brick more often it just never quite seems to go I don't know why it just doesn't anyway um, what were we talking about Apparently, it turns out that caffeine does not help my train of thought. Who would have thought? Um, I don't know if that's strictly true. Um, I have ADHD, so like, sometimes, like caffeine and I have a love-hate relationship, you know? Um, sometimes it helps a lot, and sometimes, like it makes me a little bit clearer and kind of calmer, but sometimes I need it to be awake. The downsides of caffeine addiction, I guess, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, this video ended up really long and I think I was just sort of, I think it's just because I was out of practice and um, yeah, but I think it turned out cute and I did furnish the inside. You're welcome. Um, mostly my sister gets mad when I don't furnish them. So I think that that was good. Um, it turned out being a one story not a one story, Whew, a one bedroom house. And it's kind of weird, the floor plan. I feel like I envision it being like a younger couple, maybe, who are like younger professionals, like yuppies. My dad says the word yuppie. Does anyone else's dad say the word yuppie? Anyway, um, younger professionals who like bought this cool old home, um, but like they don't have kids or maybe they don't plan to have kids. Maybe they're like me, they don't want to have kids, um, but that's kind of how I envision buying this home or living in this home. I think it's definitely like a, a couple's home or maybe a single sim home, um, one of those two. But it's not a starter, so I don't think it's like, you know, like when you're very first going out on your own, I definitely think it's more of like, you know, when you take that step from like, renting to owning but like you're still youngish you know what I mean maybe or you don't can't do anything about that <laughs> so anyway 
Um, so this floor plan, I think, turned out really cozy. And at first, I thought it was going to be a little bit too small. Um, but when I finally, like, later in the video, a little bit later, I put in, like, I made it fully furnished. And I think it turned out really cute, actually. Like, the living room and everything's a little bit tight. But I think, I think it's in it, like, in a good way. Ew. Oh, that sounds, that sounds not how I meant it. But, <laughs> I'm 12. Okay. I think that it turned out really cozy. And, you know, who needs a giant living room? Like, maybe you don't have that many friends. I don't have that many friends. I have, like, four friends. <laughs> if you don't count my sister, I have literally four friends. <laughs> so, you know, lots of friends are for suckers, I guess. I deeply regret so many of the things that I'm saying in this video. Whew, okay. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna move on from, from the t terrible, yep, okay. Anyway, so it's kind of a weird floor plan, you know, like where the kitchen is kind of back in that weird hallway, um, but I think it works. I don't know, what do you think? Let me know, let me know what you think about this build and this floor plan. Um, I definitely think it has kind of historic-ish house vibes, but again, I'm totally not sure which like time frame it's from, you know, like what style it is or where it really belongs. It's kind of, kind of, I don't know, kind of awkward. It kind of just doesn't really fit anywhere. I don't know. And I put like the old stove and stuff in there, which like at the time I thought fit, but like that stove was also like wood fired. I don't Okay, so I just cut out a bunch of the video. It's really not that much, but um, like I said, it was kind of a struggle doing this video and uh, I didn't want to make you guys watch so much of it uh, where I just like was indecisive. So all I did was place fences um, from debug, debug fences. And yeah, I changed my mind a bunch and then I ended up going back to the first thing. It was a mess. So I cut it out. I'm sorry. Um, my first video back it shouldn't be that hard but it really was I was just like in a fog I guess I don't know I really had fun with it it just um it was a long it was a long build for how tiny it is so anyway um I think this house turned out really cute I especially love the inside if you can't tell I'm sort of trying to stall till we get inside because I'm actually really excited about it. Um, I think it turned out like max cute. Oh, with these columns, every time I move something, it resets those columns to like sit on top of where the wall, the floor height, I guess, is inside. Um, so I'm curious, do you, like if you play something like this from the gallery, is that how it places? It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird because like you don't have to like cheat sims to try to make it do that or anything but it does that every time mm, i don't know let me know so yeah i guess i'll take this opportunity to remind you to please like share and subscribe um if you want to if you think it's worth those things i'm hoping if you're still watching that that means that you don't hate the video so yeah, if you do those things, it really helps me reach more people and um, it helps like tell YouTube that they should show my video to more people. So please, please, please do that. It really helps. Um, I'd appreciate that. And if you subscribe, then you can hang out with me with more videos. I promise I am not always this spastic, um, but I'd be lying if I told you that my my videos are usually calm or uh, sensical because they're not but um, yeah I feel like I have kind of a an odd energy sometimes but uh, yeah anyway um, yeah so please like share subscribe um, help me beat YouTube I appreciate that I'm trying to grow my channel you know <laughs> so yeah. Um, so I made both furnished and unfurnished versions of this house. They both ended up over 20 grand, 20 
simoleons, 20,000 simoleons, that's the right word, uh, which is kind of lame because it's such a small house, but yeah, I don't know. I guess it's for maybe a sim like me where you're definitely an adult, but sort of an adult. You're arguably an adult, but maybe you don't have kids yet or you don't want them ever. You know, you want your sister to have kids so that you can be the fun aunt, but you don't have to be, like, taking care of them when you have to bring them home. That's how I feel. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and the shell version of this house actually has the brown trim. Um, I changed it to white when I went to do the furnished version. So, you can have a little variety there. Yay! Um... Yeah, so I kind of furnished this in sort of... I don't really know what the style is. I guess the moral of this entire build is I don't know what is going on. But I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's super cozy. Um, I'm not really sure. Like, I guess it's not really my style. But I would live here. I don't particularly like flannel. Like, everyone, like, my sister loves flannel sheets. I think they're the worst thing on the face of the planet. I hate, hate flannel so much. Oh, it creeps me out. I'm a big fan of like just cotton. Like I don't want the jersey. I don't want the microfiber. I just want cotton. I definitely don't want flannel. Ugh. Ugh. Like I grew up in Northern Idaho where it's cold. Like you'd think that I would want flannel because it's warmer. I don't like it. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. Um, but yeah, I feel like this bed probably has flannel on it, I guess is why I got there. Anyway, um, but I do like this color palette. I like the kind of warm wood tones and I like how this house, it's not super cluttered, but it also doesn't feel like kind of sterile. Does that make any sense? Um, I think it's nice. I don't know. I like it. I definitely think it has a, a cool vibe. Um. If you had more than four friends, you know, you would definitely have to do more outdoor entertaining than indoor entertaining. But I think that would be fine. <laughs> so, you know, who needs more than four friends? Not me. Anyway, um, I'm really excited how this build turned out. You'll have to let me know what you think, because I think it's adorable. Um, and I feel like a lot of times I either do a small house that's a starter or I make them big. Um, so this is kind of like a fun, slightly different thing for me. I like it. Anywho, um, the landscaping did turn out a little kind of all over the place. But see, like, look how cozy this is. It's little, I get that, but like, I just think it's so cute. Um, and like, can you imagine with the fire on and maybe you get some cocoa? Feels like a cocoa kind of house, right? Like not a tea, a cocoa. Yeah, cocoa kind of house. And um, you could watch a movie or something on this hipster hugger couch, which is the only normal couch we have in the game for some reason. But uh, yeah. Oh, this is another base game house. Not that that should surprise you if you're here. I do a lot of base games. Why? I don't know, but I love it. So, there. But, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. I just think it's, like, cute and cozy, and even this dining room being kind of small, I just sort of like. Um, maybe it's because the whole thing feels like a house I think my mom would love. I remember, like, growing up, my mom always loved houses that were made in, like, the 40s maybe the 40s the 30s something like that and I always thought like ew they're old <laughs> um but now every time I see old houses it kind of reminds me of her like in you know I don't know I love my mom she's great but older houses just remind me of her she used to say like they have so much character and I was like I don't want character <laughs> I want a big kitchen mom um but now I kind of get it you know like I would say I totally dig um 60s and 70s houses like the ones that are sort of weird I love those so I think I get it I get it mom you will never watch this video but I get it 
I also love old houses now. And they're kind of the same distance from when I was born, which is pretty funny. Like, it's the same era of house that I grew up in. Like, it was built in the 70s, 60s, 70s, 80s. I don't know. Um, it's probably the same for my mom. You know, she grew up in a house that was probably made in the 40s, 50s. I don't know, I'm guessing. But, um, 30s? Who knows? Anyway, so I get it. Now when I see older homes, I just think, like, my mama would love this home. And it makes me feel warm and cozy on the inside. So, yeah, there you go. Anyway, um, I think that this house turned out really cute and really warm feeling. Um, let me know what you guys think. And I'm sorry if the energy of this video is a little chaotic. Um, I can't exactly promise I'll do better, but I'll try. So thanks for watching, hanging out with me. I hope you have a good day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy simming. Bye.